Hi, how are you doing today? I would be making a parasol possibly weekly or bi-weekly henceforth for the year going on. My book of choice for this period is titled Islamic Tolerance. I don't know if you can see it clearly. Islamic Tolerance. So I will be reading this book bit by bit, chapter by chapter, and I hope you would enjoy it along with me. So today I would be discussing basically about the book. Islamic Tolerance is written by Dr. Umar bin Abdul Aziz Qureshi and translated by Dr. Nancy Awaisi and Hita Shaw. So these people have written a book that discuss about how tolerant Islam is. So there are varieties of explanations and analogy from this book. And I hope that it would be of immense benefit to myself and to you, the listener. So I will head straight to the first chapter of the book, which talks about the tolerance of Islam. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent and the most merciful. The tolerance of Islam is not merely a claim. It is not simply a story that is embellished in someone's imagination or that is polished to win supporters. It is neither a theory or defined implementation and practical application of various acceptable concepts. The tolerance of Islam is not just a shiny facade or a propaganda designed to gain supporters to achieve short-term benefits. The tolerance of Islam is both speech and action. It is living reality as manifested by the verses of the Quran that have been repeated and meditated upon. It has been coupled with authentic prophetic hadiths, which have been recorded and passed down from one generation to the next. Confirmed history that is related to us and documented as true events. Tolerance in Islam is a set of principles that contains no double standards because it can be and is actually implemented in most exemplary way. The tolerance of Islam is a divine program of moderation designed by the creator himself, the disposer of all of our affairs and ordained for his creation. He alone knows what is in our best interest and what benefits us most. He ordained it, is, he ordained it to be applied in man's daily life and it is implemented in as full dynamic of reality. The tolerance of Islam is a rich, luxurious garden. Its shades reaches out to all of mankind, regardless of race, color, or language. This is just a brief picture of what our righteous religion desires of mankind. Without distortion or exaggeration, it is precisely this picture that this distinguished book, The Tolerance of Islam, is about to let you know. Thank you very much for your time. We'll meet again some other day. Bye.